Hey guys, welcome back. Today we'll be learning on how to do a gradient animation in your logo or in text using Photoshop. Before I start, don't forget to subscribe and like this video. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you have to do is open your logo in Photoshop. Once you do that, head over to your layers panel and add a new adjustment layer, which would be this little ball right here. Click on it and go up to solid color. Your color picker will open. Now, I'll select the green color, but feel free to use any color you would like. Once you choose it, click OK. Okay, now head back to your layers panel and add a new layer, which would be this little piece of paper right here. Click on it and you'll get a new layer. Now head over to your tools panel and select your brush tool which would be this tool right here or click B on your keyboard once you do that open your brush options by clicking this little arrow up here click on it and increase the size to at least a thousand or more let me adjust it now make sure the harness is set to zero and make sure you have soft round selected once you do that close your settings by clicking on the little arrow again and head over to your swatches panel which is located here now if, if you don't see it head over to your window and click swatches and your swatches panel will open but now choose a color i'll choose this blue right here I'll fix my brush a little bit because it's too big. And now I'll draw over my canvas. Now I'll select a different color, which at this time I'll select like a pinkish color. And then I'll do that same drawing in the bottom. Once you do that, click V on your keyboard to get your selection tool again and head over to your layers panel again. Go back to your adjustments layer and select hue and saturation. Now you will get your properties and increase the saturation a bit, not too much. Once you do that, head over to your layers panel again. Your hue and saturation layer will be selected. Now Click and hold shift on your keyboard and click on your color fill layer. Once you do that, right click on your layer and convert to smart object. Once you do that again, right click on your layer and create clipping mask. Once you do that, head over to window and scroll down to timeline. Click on it and your timeline will open. In the middle, you will see something that says create video timeline. Click on it and you'll get your animation settings. Now, select your hue and saturation layer. Click control and command T and we'll increase the size of the hue and saturation layer. Once you do that, Click on the little arrow right here and your settings will open. Click the little clock next to transform and you'll get a keyframe. Once you do that, we're going to move the timeline forward a bit and click control T or command T. And then we're going to rotate a bit. Click enter. Now move forward a bit again and click control or command T and start rotating again. Once you're satisfied with the uh, position, 
you could also move it around like I'm the one on the screen click enter and again let's move the timeline forward a bit again and again let's click control or command T and let's use the rotation tool and click enter and let's move the uh, timeline forward a bit now this time we don't have to worry just rotate it a bit and click enter now click on your first keyframe and right click on it and click copy now right click on your last keyframe and click paste so we could copy the settings from the beginning to the front now on your timeline right click the little blue handle and click set end of work area once you do that go over to your settings which would be this little button right here click on it and make sure loop playback is checked and play your animation and as you can see the animations working as a gradient let's watch it a few times now I'm going to also show you how to do it on text basically it's the same method so let's start I already have my text set up so again let's do this um, again go back to your adjustments layer and select solid color for this one I'm going to choose a yellowish color but again choose whatever you please and go back to your layers again and click uh, new layer once you do that you, you will get the new layer again and now head over to your tools panel and again click the brush tool fix your settings like how we did previously choose the color I'll choose another blue for this I'll choose a purplish color now let me make my brush a little bit smaller because it's too big for the bottom let me fix the setting okay so now I'll draw over it once again let me redo it let me choose a different purplish color and there you go in case once I'm satisfied again I'll click on the adjustments layer to add a new adjustments layer and click hue and saturation now I'll increase the saturation a bit again not too much once again once I'm satisfied I'll click shift and hold it and right click on it and convert it to a smart object again I'll right click and click create clipping mask now again go back to your window and click timeline once your timeline opens let's do the same process as we did previously let's control command T and resize the gradient or the uh, hue and saturation layer Click the clock next to transform, move forward a bit, and let's start creating keyframes like we did before. I'll speed it up to save some time. let's play it this is the final result
All right, guys, that's how you create a gradient animation on your logo or text. All right, guys, that's it for today. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe and activate the bell to get notifications. Until next time.